Hello guys and welcome to episode 6 of the batch tutorial series. In today's episode I'll be showing you how to store information from a batch file into a normal text file. So to do that, let's start by using echo off. And here's how you store information from a batch file into text documents. So we start off by using echo hello and then putting a greater than symbol and then creating something like um, info.txt so it's just as simple as that save it and then let us run it And, let, and there we go, info.txt. Hello. Now, I'm going to move both the batch file and the text document to the desktop for ease of access. There we have it. Stores hello into info.txt. So if you want to store more information, you can just write hi there with two greater than symbols into the same thing. So that's save. Okay. And it changes to hello. Hi there. So now we can just keep on adding information. So, like, you are awesome, two greater than symbols, info.txt, and um, echo. I know you are. So, two greater than symbols just um, continuously puts information into the other line so I'm going to show you yet again and here's all of this so now um, the difference between one greater than symbol and two greater than symbols is that if we one if we just change all of this to one greater than symbol it will actually override everything so let me show you um, over written one greater than symbol okay So all of this information will not appear because the one greater than symbol just overrides everything into a new thing. So let me just show you. And you see, everything has been overridden. So if you want continuous information, you're going to have to put two greater than symbols so that everything appears. Or if you want to override something, you can just put one greater than symbol. So now everything should show up there. So yeah, that's how you store information from batch file into a text document. So um, just a quick recap, two greater than symbols is to continuously put information to the text document while one greater than symbol just overrides everything else. So I go bye bye, one greater than symbol. None of these two lines will not appear because it will be written. And then this will be written the second line and the whole thing will be overwritten by this one greater than symbol. And there you have it. So now I hope you know the difference between one greater than symbol and two greater than symbols in back. Another thing, you can choose the location of where your text document is going to be stored after you put the information in it. So if you do not put a location, the, the text document will be saved at the same location of the batch file which is currently on the desktop. But if you want it to be stored somewhere else, you could do this. Uh, two greater than symbols and then C um, users uh, world. and I'm going to store it in my pictures, public pictures. So, okay. So now, um, this batch file, when I click it, info.txt will not be created on the desktop. It will be created in sample pictures. So, okay. Now, we should find info.txt here. There we go. So, yeah, that's how you can choose where files are stored. By default, it stores at the same place of your batch file. 
on another note I will be teaching you guys how to use random in batch so to use random all you have to do is to write echo percent random percent and pause so what random does is that it um, actually um, returns a number anywhere from 0 to 32,767 so when we do this uh, the number that is going to be returned can be anything from 0 to 32767 so I will show you so we have 19208 hold on let me just make this look a bit prettier for you guys random number generator color matrix style okay now there we go 19,329 okay 19,365 19,385 19,381 19,391 so as you can see all these numbers are sort of random so now if we want to limit the random number for example 1 to 100 we can actually change echo percent random to set slash a random equals percent random percent and then 2 percent signs 100 so now the reason I'm using set slash a and not echo is because we are actually doing a mathematical equation sort of here so what it's gonna do it's it's going to use a random and then that random number has to be anywhere from 0 to 99 when we put that so we'll just echo hold on let me just change this so number so echo percent number 7 8 10 13 17 20 20 23 hold on so this returns a number anywhere from 0 to 99 if we want to return a number from 0 to 100 we actually change percent percent 100 and put a plus 1 over here because previously it was returning because previously it was returning uh, from 0, 0 to 99 once we plus 1 it will add a 1 here and add a 100 so now it will return anywhere a number anywhere from 1 to 100 so let's save 4, 7, 10, 13, 13, 17, 20 so if we put a 2 here it will return a number anywhere from 2 to 101 same thing happens if we put a minus 5 here it will return a number anywhere from negative 5 to 95 sorry about that negative 1 to 2 so if we want to return a number from 1 to 10 what we do is actually just put percent percent 10 plus 1 so this will return a number anywhere from 1 to 10 and as you can see 7 7 10 4 7 if we want to do anywhere from 0 to 5 we'll put a percent percent 5 1 1 0 3 1 1 Oh, so I'm sorry. It uh, zero to four, not zero to five. If we want to get five, we actually have to put a plus one here, and then this would go from zero to one and four to five. Five. There we go. So I hope that this will 
show you how you can control the range of a random number so I'm just going to do another recap so to, to make a random number all you have to do is echo percent random percent this will return a number anywhere between 0 to 32767 if I'm not mistaken 32700 and something if we want to put a range a limit between the random number we have to put set slash a a variable name equals percent random percent two percent signs and then the range you want it to be for example if you want to you want it to be 10 percent percent 10 this number this will return a number anywhere from 0 to 9 if you want 1 to 10 you have to add a plus 1 here so yeah I hope that this was a good enough explanation for random and I will see you guys next time